Uh, my name is Dr. Sama Ketch. I'm a pediatrician and also a research scientist currently working with the Cambry Wellcome Trust Research Program in Nairobi. I do research uh, around um, um, 14 hospitals in Kenya uh, that we monitor care that's given to the children to identify what treatments work and what treatments need to be improved. My research focuses on three big killers uh, within the tropics. I look at children with malaria, um, I also look at children with diarrhea and dehydration, and also children with severe illness, often caused by conditions such as bacterial infections. Uh, we work with a number of hospitals in, in Kenya. So using those hospitals, uh, we are able to monitor care that is given and identify um, treatments at work and treatments that require improvement. So using these hospitals we work with, one of the things that we'll be uh, working with with World Health Organization together with the Kenyan government is to monitor whether the malaria vaccine that, is, that will be introduced later on in 2019, whether the vaccine actually reduces cases of severe malaria and also uh, we'll be able to check whether the vaccine has any side effects. Um, we will do that by uh, monitoring children who are, um, who, are, who are admitted to these hospitals. So we'll monitor them to identify cases of severe malaria. And then also through the monitoring, we'll be able to pick out rare severe adverse events, uh, rare adverse events that may not have been picked uh, out during, um, during the clinical trials. Um, so this will be quite relevant uh, to the world in that the results from that evaluation will be able to inform policy recommendation for the wider use of the malaria vaccine, which has been developed for over 30 years. And really now the question is how should it be given uh, going forward? So over the last of, uh, five to 10 years, we've looked at um, a number of things. One of the things has been to look at how do treatments that are developed um, in clin clinical trials, how do they work in real life? So using the hospitals that we work with, uh, the hospital network that we work with, we've been able to identify children at risk of dying, uh, identify treatments that um, work and treatments that require improvement. And one of the areas I've been focusing on uh, previously has been um, looking at children with diarrhea and dehydration and looking at whether if you give the correct fluid prescription that results in uh, reduced risk of death. And what we found is that when clinicians do the right thing, if they, write, if they give the correct treatment, then that, um, uh, that results in less risk of death. Um, other things we've looked at is that um, if you, um, you can, the, we've also investigated different strategies of identifying children who require antibiotics and now we are moving to the stage where we are thinking of how do you incorporate this into uh, routine practice by clinicians. What we do, we look at things that are very important. Uh, we look at conditions that still cause a lot of deaths in children in this region. And then you realize that funders put in a lot of money for research in terms of developing interventions. But a lot of these interventions are often at the shelves. They do not reach the patient who is the in intended beneficiary. So through, our, through the research we do, which basically is embedded within routine practice, routine hospitals where patients come in, we are able to identify how best to give treatments that have been shown to work in research. So this is quite important when th people are thinking of new interventions and new innovations that are really being funded. So working with ru hospitals routinely is very important. So this um, really fits into, um, into what's intended because really the goal for any research often is to improve lives and reduce the risk of death. But the gap between the research 
and actually improving lives usually is how to implement the treatment, how to get the, give the treatment in real life. So the research that we do, working with hospitals that provide care routinely has been important in, 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 device, in finding out ways of actually giving care um, um, and getting treatments to work in real practice.